great. So I think I first heard about this through the Arts Commission and Jeff Amon, that he had mentioned there was this possibility of it coming to Poughkeepsie and uh, that Vassar was hoping to have it both on campus and also places off campus so others would see it. And then he called me to see if there was some way to raise the possibility of it coming here to Christ Church as one of the spaces where people might see it. And that's when I put, to, told him to get in touch with Susan directly and talk to her about it so that uh, we could see if that was a possibility in this complicated time. Arrived around 10.30 and it was snowing and uh, the gentleman put it up and it's here uh, for the 30th of, of October, the 31st and Sunday, November 1st. And we have two panels here in the hallway at Christ Church, but we also have in the north transept uh, two more panels with um, more, more of the quilt as well. The first was at the Family Partner Center in Poughkeepsie. It came here, and then it's going on to the Glebe House, which has a very strong connection here with Christ Church in its early, early years. And then from the Glebe House, it's going to New Paul's University, from New Poles University, they're waiting to hear from Bard College, and uh, from there it goes on somewhere else, but I'm not sure where that somewhere else is. Arrived today, there are four quilts arrived today in a Subaru, and they're all framed at, with PVC piping. And it's all the way around, it comes apart, rolls up, and it's absolutely amazing how they put this together. Um, when my people, members of the Church of Virgin of Guadalupe. The majority of the people who come in this country are from Mexico and Central America. And when they see all of this, they must be very touched. And at the same time, they see the power of the union of the people who are really conscious about this terrible situation that is happening at the border of this country. I'm going to invite my people after this service to come and see uh, how beautiful are these wheels uh, teaching us, let us all see that we are not alone. We have a lot of people around us telling us that together we're going to be free one day. Thank you. And to think that this is going on right here in the, in this country that's supposed to stand for freedom and all these people are locked up and some of them are children and their health needs are not being provided for and it's um it's yeah i and i realized that some of my students could be the ones to be locked up and um that's really frightening you know me i speak from my heart because these little children that I see on TV that they show um, remind me of my own little grandson, and I, I and I think, what could possibly be going through those children's minds as they are separated from parents and adults and, and put in these places, literally cages, and I, I, I can't even imagine, I can't even begin to imagine what is going through their little heads. So I was at the border right before the pandemic started really, last January with my classmates from the seminary. And uh, we were in El Paso and we didn't get to go into a detention center. They wouldn't let us in, but we were in a shelter which was actually right next door to the detention center. Um, and we could hear the uh, detainees out in the yard, in the, you know, the fenced in and razor wired yard having a break they, and we could hear their voices talking and um, 
you know, I, I knew nothing about the border when I went down to the border. So uh, there are just some basic things I was open to, like uh, detention happens all over the country. So right in our own local jails and prisons, there are immigrant detainees. Um, you, people have talked about the detention centers that are just for immigrants being like prisons, but actually detainees are in, in real prisons. Um, and it's been a, a period of time ever since then to think about what are other things that I can do right here in my own neighborhood. Uh, you don't have to be at the border to do something or learn something more about immigration. It's right with us here. Um, and this quote, I think, is a great way to remind me of that and to, um, for all of us to have our eyes opened more to the neighbors that are right near us and their needs. To no human is illegal. Let them free because free like this butterfly, free like the beginning of the creation. When we were invited to participate in this project, I didn't really hesitate because. Christ Church has been historically connected with the parish of Our Lady Guadalupe, which is made up primarily of people who've immigrated from Oaxaca. Our connection with that congregation has been so deep and so meaningful that during this time of problems during the border and of immigration, it has affected us not only in an intellectual way, but in a profoundly personal way. As we know that many of our brothers and sisters who worship at Our Lady of Guadalupe, if they had tried to come to this country at another time, they may well have wound up in immigration detention centers throughout the country. That reflejado a Dios porque nos une como, como hermanos y la gente está tomando conciencia de, de apoyar porque todos somos hermanos en Cristo. She say that seeing this she see God because it's um, um, everybody is taking consciousness because uh, we are brothers and sisters in God. We are one in God. Yo todas las noches oro y todo el tiempo oro porque haya unión para que Dios toque el corazón de los seres humanos y haya cada día más más conciencia y hermandad. Um, she every night she pray asking to the people to be more conscious about the, the feeling of others and she would like to see one uh, work together. Uh, fighting for justice and peace. Harvey and Mary Flood, I so hope you get a chance to see this. I miss you terribly. I hope you will. And I know the artistry in this quilt, especially for Mary, will touch her heart. Love you. I'm Carla Good and we miss everyone. And we're so lucky to be here in the church today and um, seeing quilts from those that are incarcerated uh, with their names and numbers. It's very moving. We miss you and we all wish we could be together physically and hope to be that way soon. Thank you. These quilts are so moving, so amazing, the messages the people put on them. And I am so proud to be at a church that values this, that finds this important. It's especially moving to have them here on All Saints Day when we're remembering those who we love who have died. We're remembering those who've died of the coronavirus 
And now we are also thinking about those who are lost, who have been put in cages, whose parents don't know where they are. And all of that coming together on All Saints Day is extremely moving.